One of the beliefs of uh, Jehovah's Witnesses is that Jesus and the Archangel Michael are the same person. Uh, that Michael was a spirit being right up until the point where where Jesus was being born by Mary. Well, I don't know if if they're talking about the actual birth or while he was in the probably probably while in the womb. But anyway, yeah, yeah, because he'd be physical at that point. So yeah, when, when he's a spirit being, he's Michael. When he's a physical being, he's Jesus. And then when he died, he went back to being the spirit being Michael. They don't believe in the Trinity. They don't believe Jesus is God. So they don't therefore believe that Michael is God either. It's uh, God is one thing, Jesus and Michael, one thing, something else. But are they the same person? The Jehovah's Witnesses have a few arguments for why. None of them are any good. Some of them you can kind of put together as a, as a kind of, well, maybe Jesus is also Michael. So when when Jesus is in human form, he's Jesus. When he's in angel form, he's Michael. Like when he was in the Old Testament as the angel of the Lord, he appears several times. So maybe that was his Michael form. But there's no getting out of the Trinity. So you could say Jesus is Michael, but you have to also say he's God. So either way, uh, Jehovah's Witnesses are wrong because they don't think he's God. They can't have it both ways. If, 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 if he's Michael, then he... He's, he's definitely God, especially with the line of reasoning they use, because they, they take a passage here and a passage here, like, um, Michael was a leader of an army of angels, Jesus is the leader of an army of angels, therefore they must be the same person. And all, all the arguments are quite weak like that. But when it comes to Jesus and God, you've got things like, Jesus is called the King of Kings, God is called the King of Kings, therefore they must be the same. Jesus is called Almighty, God is called Almighty, they must be the same. Jesus is called Alpha and Omega, God is called Alpha and Omega, they must be the same where that's that's a more of a solid case so it, it kind of seems weird to me that with the weak case for michael they'll have that but with the really powerful case for god they won't have that it's a weird thing so you could go you could go along with it to a point where you say okay yeah maybe maybe jesus is michael but he's still definitely god but the thing that clinches it for me that says that jesus is not also michael and the michael is a separate thing is um i mean there are a few reasons but this is the one that really clinches it i think is um in the book of jude uh you've got michael uh, facing off against satan uh they're having an argument about who's going to be able to take uh, the body of moses and it says that michael dared not to uh, pass a judgment on satan and so he called out to god to do it whereas in the gospels when jesus is faced with satan he tells satan to go away and satan obeys him and then later on when he meets demons he rebukes them he which is the word they use they, he, he casts them away and then uh, the disciples come up to him and say oh we we tried to do that but we couldn't do it and jesus says no yeah I, only god can do that and so <laughs> in the sense where uh jesus did it and then he told his disciples only god can do what i just did that's just a clear case of Jesus being God. And then, yeah, you compare that to Michael, who couldn't do it. And an angel was supposed to be a more powerful being than a human in sort of spiritual ways. It just doesn't seem that they're the same person.